Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about Gaku Plus. The topic that is about the normal. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to divide both sides by S. Later that we put the square root for the both sides. So we have y equals to the square root of number 6 over s and y equals to the square root of 6 over s with the negative sign here. So we need to find first the derivative. So this one we know that we can put like this. The square root of s that is about s to the power of 1 over 2. Now I want to put on numerator. So we put the negative going here. That's why we have this one. Now we can do similar for the second one. Now if we do first the derivative. So we have the formula in here. So this one, we have negative of the square root of number 6 over number 2. S to the power of negative 1 over 2 minus number 1. And that is about negative 3 over 2. And the second one. So they ask about the normal. So the formula of the normal in here. That should be like this. So I will put this one going here and this one going here. So that should be about number 2 over the square root of number 6 s to the power of 3 over 2. After we put this one in here and then we will swap on numerator and that should be like this now we can do similar for the second one now the formula of the normal That should be like this. So we know that they go through about the origin. That means S equals to number 0, Y equals to number 0. So we put number 0 cone here and number 0 cone here. So this one, that is about this one. y0 that is about this one now 
S0 multiplied by S0 of 3 over 2. That should be about, we have negative number 2 with the square root of number 6. S0 to the power of 5 over number 2 because we have number 1. 1 plus 3 over 2, we have 5 over 2. Now, we can do about factorization by S0 to the power of negative 1 over 2. So this one, we have S0 equals to number 0 and then second one if we calculate S0 in here that should be about the cube of number 3 so in this situation we can find the value of Y0 in here and that is about this one So because this is about number 3 to the power of 1 over 3, so 1 over 3 multiplied by negative 1 over 2, we have negative 1 over 6. So if I put this one going here, we cannot find the value of y because we have number 6. If we have number 0 in here, everything will be 0. So this one cannot be the solution. And now you can do similar for the second one. And we can get like this. So we have two solutions. And this is the final answer we need to write in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.